Hey, Dan. These are the new roundabouts, and uh, I'm, I'm making this video to talk a bit about them, but really a bit about my reaction to them. They actually work really, really well. Um, traffic is moving through, but what I find is that more than any other time in my life, my inner monologue uh, where other people's driving is concerned has become an outer monologue. And I don't know why the roundabouts are bringing it out in me, but anybody who, you know, stops or they look to their right or they're in the roundabout and they, um, they, you know, stop and, woo, you know, provide right away for somebody trying to enter the roundabout. Anybody who's slow off the mark, anybody who, <coughs> anybody who does anything that annoys me, I find myself talking out loud and I've never really done, I mean, a little bit. So I'm trying to figure out why um, and what purpose it serves because, uh, because clearly, I mean, obviously it's a pressure release, right? It's an ind individual, uh, a personal pressure release because obviously it does no good <coughs> if I don't honk my horn, the other person never knows how I feel about what they're doing. Even if I honk my horn, they probably most of the time don't have any idea why I'm honking. So anyway, it's, um, you know, I, it's, it's my reaction to it. Um, but what I find is that instead of making me feel you know, as a pressure release, which would imply that I feel then less pressure. I actually feel more and more uptight every time I go through. Um, and that doesn't mean I want to drive through the roundabouts blithely unaware of what people are going to do, but um, I don't have to yell at them when they are slow, you know, the Jesus. Christ, what are you doing? Those sorts of comments. <coughs> I don't find, actually reduce my stress uh, or lower my anxiety level whatsoever. Um, so I am going to try over the next week to eliminate that altogether and just accept the people driving through the intersection the way they are, and of course I'll react to it. I don't want to get into, get into an accident, but um, you know, just let them be because unless I'm willing to exert some control over the situation, which I'm not really willing to, nor do I really know how I would do that, then there's no point in vocalizing. There's no point in saying anything. All it does is makes me uptight and the people in the car uptight. So <coughs> anyway, I thought you would appreciate that because I know that you also have an inner monologue that at times becomes an outer monologue. So at least you would sympathize with what I'm going through. So I will let you know how this experiment goes uh, and I'll get back to you. That's my story. I'm sticking to it.